Rich Restaurant Queso is liquid gold. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now you might think that queso is a recent invention, but think again, because this cheesy, saucy Tex-Mex staple actually dates back to the turn of the century, but it didn't become the uber popular dip that it is now until the 60s and 70s. Is that right? Thanks for coming to class. Well, thank, thank you for having me, Professor. I love some queso, but how difficult would it be to distinguish one chain restaurant's queso from another? I think it would be very difficult because how, I haven't had all these. Yeah, how difficult would it be to determine which queso is the best? Oh, that's easy. I like yeah. saying what things are best. And isn't this a great job? Oh, yes it is. It's time for Queso Boy. Today is a great day. Blind restaurant queso taste test. Stevie hit us with a cheesy deep. Today you'll be tasting seven different quesos from Chipotle, Buffalo Wild Wings, Taco Bell, El Pollo Loco, Del Taco, Qdoba, and Chili's. That you'll is taste seven. Each of them blindfolded and guess which queso came from where. You'll also be tasting the chip with the corresponding restaurant. And Rhett, you failed to use the prize you won in yesterday's episode. That means it's back up for grabs today, so the winner of this game will win the right to correct the loser with a loud, actually, as much as he wants a good mythical more, and <laughs> right. you didn't whoever loses has to dress up like a sexy little mouse. Has to? <laughs> wow, okay. Don't tempt me. <laughs> All right. As you can see, we can't. And each one of these chips and queso is going to be brought to us, I understand it to be, on the chippy cheesy margarisi, patent pending. Okay. Let's bring it in. Why is it called a margarisi? Because I think it has a little, uh, mm. it has a little like glass of queso if you don't get enough with the chip. Okay. Okay. My mm. voice is cracking like these chips. This is gonna be so difficult. I know what the chip from Chili's taste like. And I know I know what the queso from Chipotle tastes like because Yeah, I think that's nobody the, likes it. The only one that I'll maybe have a chance of getting. I like this queso. What is that? You okay over there? Mm. Trying oh, to get some more queso. Oh, can, I, can I drink the queso straight? Mm. There was mm. there was a chunk of something Whoa. in that queso. Whoa! Hold on now. Is that got sausage in it? it? I mean, it's a little spicy. It's got some little beads like that. Is good. that boba? Is that, does it have boba in it? No, it doesn't have mm -hmm. boba. That would be crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what That's it was. That's good. It's spicy. It's a little runny, though. Um, let's go ahead and say how much we like it on a scale of one to uh, two. I actually really like it because it's got some spice to it. And now, but it's the first one. Not too much. I don't want to go too too. I mean, I mean, it's a seven. It's a solid seven. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Seven for me as well. And then to guess what it is, oh crap, okay. I mean, you ready? I, I know where it's not from, but I don't know where it is from. I mean, the, tasting the chip should kind of help. but it, I, I'm ready for a guess. Um, okay, all right. Three, two, one. El Buffalo Pollo Wild Loco. Wings. So we're both in chicken territory. We felt like these quesos went with chicken. I thought it was spicy. I went with fast food though. And uh, the only thing I know, uh, because we were talking a second ago, and uh, David Hill said that there was a, they had a skillet queso at Buffalo Wild Wings, and I thought I tasted some little pieces of sausage, and that seems like it would come inside of a skillet. I just gave you my secret. But I'm probably wrong, so don't listen Why to me. Why would Buffalo Wild Wings put sausage in their queso? That's crazy, right? Bring in the next one. Oh, okay. Huh. Hmm. That's got more bell pepper. And it's very unspicy. Nacho cheese. And by that, I mean it is yeah. your, it is your cheese, man. <laughs> you know. Uh, you I'm gonna get a little bit more of the queso. Is it still I would up? love some of that. Mm. Oh. Ain't no sausage in that. <laughs> no. Ain't nothing in that, you're right. It tastes like a Dodgers game. We're in full nacho territory. Hmm. Um, I don't like it. I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. Because I know what queso can be. And the first one was so good compared to that. Man. That's not queso, it's just nacho cheese. And because of that, I'm giving it a two, Link. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to guess. Three, two, one. Del Taco. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. 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 Fist bump, right? No, oh, that's too close. Too close. Too close. Oh, man. I'm enjoying this even more than I thought I would. Mm. Oh, oh. I went so far, I got in the metal part. Oh, yeah? I think I lost a filling. I think I lost my front tooth filling. I got a filling right there on my... Really? My front insides. I don't. You can't get one there, I don't think. Can you get a filling right there? I think if you get a cavity on that tooth, they just take it out. That chip ain't bad. The chip is hard. Can I have a more out of queso? Yeah, me too. Hmm. Thicker, still viscous. I would think it's that I was milder. having a jarred queso. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You've been if jarred. If you told me that came from a jar. Yeah, I believe you. Um, oh gosh, I think I just stuck my wrist in queso. It's got some mild spice to it, which is nice. It's got a building heat. I think there were little flecks of something in it. Hmm. hmm. It's not that bad. It's a five. Right in the middle of the scale for me. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I agree. I give it a five too. It's not that seven from the first round, which seven may be the new 10. We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, Where is this from? Is it from I, uh, am I driving through? Am I burritoing up? Or am I sitting down and ordering? Okay, I have a guess. Um, okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one. El Taco Pollo Bell. Loco. So we both thought fast food. Definitely, that's how what it feels okay. like. Okay. I'm not sitting down for that. I mean, I am sitting down right now, but I'm not sitting down for that right. kind of queso. Uh -uh. I'm only sitting down for a six and up. You don't sit down at uh, El Pollo Loco? You stand never. You stand I've, and eat? I've never been inside one. Oh, well they have a salsa bar. You should go inside. Really? Oh yeah. Well they can give you all the sauces from the salsa bar in the drive-thru. Not the same. You know, we've got some really talented chefs over on the Mythical Kitchen, but True. they're not just talented chefs. They're talented just people who like to talk to each other and to you. They do that on a little thing called Aprons Off. Go check out the latest episode of Aprons Off. That's how they say it. I don't know why they told me to say it just like that. Aprons Off. Did I do it right, Stevie? Yeah. <laughs> you need that reinforcement. <laughs> Usually when we cut, I let you know that you did something really good. Right, I need positive reinforcement. Did, I don't did, like to be punished good. though. I'm just trying good. to remember what quesos I haven't tasted. I don't. Bring you know, it in. I never do that. I, do, I end up doing double guessing. Oh, uh, uh huh. Oh gosh, got on my hand. Hmm. I'm really trying to. Can I try it again? Focus on the on the chip first. It's a pretty good chip. Hmm. Okay. That's not a bad queso. It has bits, which which brings it up a little bit. I'm still on a five with this one. It's a, I, I like it a little bit more. I'd like, to, I'd like to move my seven higher, honestly, but I'm gonna give this a six. Uh, um, Where could this it's pretty, be? It's pretty gelatinous. Where could this be? Huh. I think I just realized I may have guessed the wrong thing. I know I've guessed the wrong thing. Don't, at least don't you think you know what Chipotle is? Because when I've tasted it, I haven't liked it. It tastes like, it has a, it's, very, it's more distinct, but I've learned enough doing this great job that we have. Yeah, when you're blindfolded. That you're an idiot when you're blindfolded. I know, it's, it you takes, know, I'm, a I like, idiot. like Chipotle queso with my blindfold on. I'm trying to think, should I even guess uh, that? Okay. Uh, I, okay, I'm thinking. Three, two, one. Del Chipotle. Taco. Chipotle. I went back to Del Taco. I think that that was a Chipotle chip. I don't know! More cheese, please. Uh-huh. Okay. Not spicy, though. Um, Just creamy, peppery. Can I have more? Very corny in the chip. Give it a little slurp, too. Ha! Ha! I'm so confused. This one has some of that nacho-y that's two at four. It's back down. Mm -hmm. It's a four. I totally agree. I give this a four as oh, well. Oh gosh, I'm so confused. All right, I gotta guess. Oh shoot. Okay. Three, two, one. 
Help Qdoba. Oh, oh, you're doubling up on your I've guess, doubled up huh? on two guesses. Okay. Yep. I just really don't think I've had Chipotle yet. That's a thicker queso. Nothing else in it though. Is that a weird chip? I don't think it was a weird chip. That the queso is weird. It gets spicy. It's very just nacho cheesy. I don't think it's nacho cheesy. Let me taste it again. Let me get get some more. You don't think it's nacho cheesy? You It's hard to do. Oh, it's bad by itself. Yeah. I don't think you should slurp queso on its own. I don't. Well, I'm, I'm too late. <laughs> you know a place that has really good queso that I know it isn't on our list? Um, what's that uh, to Texas taco place that we go to? Home, Home State. State. Home State got some goo -hoo 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 -hoo. Woo! If you come out here, if you can get your hands on a Home State, get the queso. And you know what? Order it loaded, and they'll put meat in it. Oh my goodness, and they can do that? Yes. They'll do that? It's so good. Oh gosh, it's so good. Um, I Home don't State even know how to feel great, about this. Great I said, little place. When I went back to taste it by itself, it went down to a three. Ay. Yep, we're totally on the same I page. I thought I would like queso more than I'm this. I'm giving this one a three as well. Uh, uh. So where is this subpar? All right, all right, fine. Three, two, one. Taco Chipotle. Bell. I got a guess. You're probably right. It you probably was fast. It, food. it might be. I'm sure I've already tasted Chipotle, and just didn't know it. We interrupt this episode of Good Mythical Morning to show you a teaser trailer for our new Rhett and Link video. It's unlike anything we've ever done before. It's a short film mockumentary, and it comes out tomorrow on the Rhett and Link channel. to find a diamond. <laughs> ah! Welcome to our little adventure. You feel it? Why? Why? Because this, this way you get your hams loose. This is the last one? Yes. Mm-hmm. Big old ship. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. All right. Give me straight give me some cheese. more straight cheese. Yeah, you know the drill. I'm sorry. It's so thick. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm gonna give this one a six. I was gonna give it a six as well. I like it, but not as good as number seven. Which again, seven is now the new ten. And then this one, I think, would have been an eight in that world but it's a six in this world. Um, Where is that from? I don't, I feel crazy for thinking this, but I think I have the guess. It's a little spicy. Okay. Three, two, one. Chipotle. El, El Pollo Loco. I don't know, I'm out of guesses. Can I raise? Yeah, yeah, take, take off your blindfolds. How do you feel that you did? Horrible. Not, not good at all because it, I thought Chipotle was gonna be so obvious and it never came around. Yeah, you guys weren't exuding a lot of confidence, I'll say. Like usual. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We don't have a lot of cheese confidence. Um, okay, well, your second favorite queso actually was from El Pollo Loco. Really? Yeah, and your first favorite. Which was the last one, so I did get that. Yeah, was Chili's. Which was the first one. Okay, which that makes the sense. The first one was good. They got great chips too. Chili. So, Link, you got one correct. Hey. Just, just the last one, I guess. What'd you get right? How many did I get? Right. You got one correct also. <laughs> which means 
We have two sexy little mice and some actuallys to share in Good Mythical More. Oh, uh, we gotta share a sexy mouse out? Well, we only have one costume, but it has multiple pieces, so you can decide which parts of you are gonna be Don't sexy. Don't be too sexy yet! Save it for more! I'm just practicing. Save it for more! Congratulations, Chilies. You're the rear winner today. You and your chips that are great, and your salsas, and you mean your cor- your queso that's great. Yeah. Oh, is this a mouse voice? This is my Lorne Michaels impersonation. Because he's so sexy. I don't know why. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. As you can see, I can't. We are the Gunters, and we are about to do a chips and queso challenge. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Who's going to be doing the feeding? They're all blindfolded. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us taste test the best way to get caffeinated beyond coffee and tea in Good Mythical Morning. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is going to land. He also doesn't wash his legs. <laughs> it's true. The soap runs mess. down your body. Oh my God, And gets mess. on your legs. I don't need to wash you my legs. You are a human mess. Gravity is washing my legs. That's When's the last time either of you have smelled my legs? 